<laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> so I wanted to share what I've been up to for the last couple of weeks. Um, now that I left my corporate job, so I left on the 30th of April, and it's now the 16th of May. Ah, so, um, yeah, where where do I begin? I'd like to describe some of the some of the emotions, um, and then talk a little bit about the the events as well. Um, so, the like the build up to the to to leaving my corporate job was like very much like a kind of crescendo, and I was just really looking forward to that moment. And it was funny in the last two or three days, it's almost like I didn't want it to end. Um, because you kind of savor in that moment, you know that it's the end of something big in your life, and you just want to like cherish those moments, those interactions with people. And it was a beautiful send off, and I was uh, so blessed with my my manager writing me a song and uh, the team members singing it, and I got to play guitar, so that was a lot of fun. And and then immediately after, there was definitely like this feeling of, of elation. It's like I've just stepped through the door into my dreams into my dream life. And that was just this real like instant high. And my vibration just felt like so much higher than um, than I've really felt in, in a very, very long time. It felt very free and easy. And yeah, so that was fantastic. Um, the Much of the focus of my energy in these last two weeks has been, uh, continues to be, on my clinical reflexology um, training, and also starting to think about getting that part of my business started. Um, and so I've been doing like a uh, completed four, four case studies. So they're 10 hours of each, that's so a 10 hours of sessions for each person that I've done a case study with. And we do like a consultation. And then like the first, the first two are just like, um, do a consultation, do the treatment that's that's specific for the presenting conditions they have, and then do a write up afterwards. And I'm sure the first write up took me a couple of days to write, literally. Um, and anything you say, uh, like you know, the reason you've chosen certain reflexes in in the body to massage, like if you're choosing like the brain reflex to help with um, anxiety or insomnia, um, then You'd, you'd have to explain why and reference a book or research that backs it up. So that was for the two, first two case studies. And then the third was all about um, uh, doing research as well. So actually looking up research papers and you know aligning your practice with what's backed up by public research. And um, the fourth, which I just submitted, was all about the five elements or the um, acupressure points. And so that was great to get done. And I've also done two uh, physiology um, papers as well, and that's part of the, the physiology module. So I don't know how much the reflexology uh, detail interests you, but for me, it was um, between that and working in the, the hospice, um, uh, volunteering each Monday has been a really, uh, it's been really welcome. Like in so many respects, it's helped me you know, my very first kind of uh, Monday after my corporate job was, you know, Monday in, in the hospice working and I, and I have an incredible manager there and the staff are all incredible. Um, and, you know, it doesn't matter that it's volunteering. For me, it's like, it's just incredible, valuable experience and everyone's so lovely to, to work with. And so that structure has been really helpful. I found it like quite grounding um, as in that I feel quite, um, you know, down to earth and in this reality by connecting with people and doing this. And then, um, and also just like the, the feedback that people are giving. I've had a few clients that have come back uh, for repeat sessions um, at the hospice. And it's just, oh, it's such an honor to both do the, you know, do the uh, session for them and then to see like their progress. Uh, and, and I feel it too, like I feel it in their, in their feet, um, you know, what progress you can feel tension and where, if, if there's any issues um, in anywhere in, in, in the body. And it was quite funny because I've, uh, I'm, I'm down in my living room just now, but in my home office, um, 
it's the same place I was working my corporate job. And it's so funny that, you know, you change job um, and then you're still in the same place and I sat, you know, sit there for hours. But, you know, the difference is I can choose to do this, right? I can choose to just go and create some content. I can go and do something, you know, specific um, that feels right for me in the moment. So I don't need to be in that room all the time. Um, in fact, the only thing that was really binding me to that room at my home office was having like two computer monitors so I could do like a paper and research at the same time or, or whatever's working on. Um, and then I've also been updating my website. Uh, you'll see in the main menu, it has uh, my Reflexology mobile service. So if you're in the area, if uh, you live um, within about um, an hour or so drive from uh, Dunbar in East Lothian, then uh, book me in and I'll, um, I'll come along and, and do your foot massage. Um, that'd be fantastic. So yeah, really excited. And I'm also looking at rooms um, that I can rent in the Edinburgh area so that I can um, uh, offer sessions to people there. They can just uh, book a session with me, come in and I'll do the, the sessions. So that's reflexology. Um, in terms of my business, um, I've not really like started that yet because I'm, I'm, I'm busy like uh, preparing and uh, my, my expectation is by May uh, 31st to get that, uh, get that kicked off and I'll start, you'll start seeing me doing more advertising and stuff like that. So in the meantime, I was really wanting, and well done if you made it this, this far in the video, I wanted to share, if you can't tell from my energy, uh, I did a quick dance before this, so I do feel quite animated. Um, my vibration has been kind of up and down and up and down. And it's really interesting. It's a bit like um, being freed from the matrix, freed from a prison. And I'm, I'm still letting go. I, sorry, I am letting go of these older patterns of me that I, I no longer require. I don't need to rely on, on structure, you know, meetings of like 9 till 10, then 10 till 11, then 11 till 12, then break, then 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. like. I can uh, and use all this half hours, but you know that you get a sense of that structure. Like my days would usually, my corporate job, just be back to back meetings like all day. Um, and so, and it'd be like that from like 9 a.m. to 6 or 7 p.m. Um, and so now having so much more say, like now I just have a long to do list, uh, which I get to curate and um, constantly reflect on, like I look at each day. And I've also put like my vision up on my, my website so that anyone can read it. And it's the thing I literally work from. It's like, it's not just something I think I might do. Like it's literally like my to-do list each day. It, when, I, when I open my computer web browser, it's the first thing that pops up. So I, I, it's in my face and I have to look at it and go and tweak it and, and, and make, it, uh, make it better. So there's that. What's happening with my world tour? Um, good question. Well, so far I've, I've met three, four people, um, and I have, and there's more planned, um, and I have been really investing my time getting my uh, water tank set up in my camper van because really I can't go for these like longer distances without sufficient water, um, or I'll be turning up at people's houses and asking for like, uh, or meeting up and like asking, where's the nearest tap? Or where can I get some water from? So. Um, that job is almost done. I've spent quite a few days under the van securing this under slung. So it's like this, this big water tank that fits underneath the camper van. Um, so that's, that's really cool. And, uh, the, the new setup should be much better than the last one that, that fell off because it was, uh, it was ripped off when my father-in-law drove it over his, um, his kind of, his, his driveway, which is like that. Um, and it's helped me build confidence in those skills. I am learning that I need to be really protective of my hands because it's like it's my work for reflexology, like looking after my hands. Um, so always keeping them clean and keeping them cut free. Um, so yeah, I really just wanted to share. Uh, yes, there's there's some downs as well as all the ups. Um, and whenever I feel a little, a little bit down or like kind of a little bit lost, I would say I just step into self care. I ask myself, I ask, hey John, what what would you like to do? Uh, that's fun and I just go and do that so that's why I'm down here recording a video with you I've been dancing around and uh, next I'll do a little bit of work then we'll be off into nature um, for a walk so any questions let me know send me love